Hey guys, Alex here and I want to show you a video of how you can set up your Xbox One to stream to your Windows 10 virtual machine in parallels without actually having to set your virtual machine into a bridged network mode. I was actually wondering about this question at first uh, but I wasn't really sure until I tried it myself and it actually does work. So I have Windows 10 started right now uh, on my Mac and uh, you can see I'm already logged into the Xbox application here and there's no consoles connected uh, and if I look at the configuration settings uh, for the network it's set up as a shared network there is some bridged options here but I'm not using them because I don't want to expose this virtual machine on the network as a discoverable computer I'd rather maintain it as a shared network which is the default setting now if I try to find the console uh, in the app with this configuration it's not going to find it uh, because the virtual machine is rather isolated from the rest of the devices they're not uh, automatically discovering so I have to enter the Xbox One's IP address and I would recommend to have a static IP address set up for your Xbox One so you don't have to worry about the IP address changing uh, so I have a set up here a static IP address so I'm gonna put it in and as soon as I connect you'll see it will be discovered, it will register as being online and at this point what I can do is I can actually stream from my console uh, and it will set that up. Now it will complain that I don't have a controller connected to this computer which is okay, my controller is actually connected to the Xbox One so I can uh, I can actually see everything that's happening on the screen here and I can launch any application or any program and I can do anything that I would normally do on the console. So you can see it does actually work. Uh, I am still under uh, I'm still under shared network mode. Uh, there is uh, I'm not using bridged network and you can see even if I go into the configuration settings it's under uh, shared network. Now like I said I wasn't really sure if this was possible or not until I tried it myself but it actually is and the next time you launch this application it will remember your configuration settings so you don't have to put your console in again assuming that your console still has the same IP address.